Remember to stick and stay with TV3 as we bring you live updates of the NPP's Delegate Conference. You're still watching Midday Live on TV3 to the Ashanti region now where authorities of the Akumadan Senior High School in the region have appealed to government to assess the school with infrastructure and a school bus and the lack of infrastructure is hampering teaching and learning that according to the headmaster Akwese Japonintra. The Tuasa Senior High School is the only senior high school in the Achuman Wabija district. The school started with 118 students but currently has 2,500 students. Classrooms are congested in the wake of inadequate infrastructure. Though management of the school has made efforts to secure infrastructure from the GET fund, the funds have not been forthcoming. A building expected to accommodate teachers has been abandoned for over five years. This 18-unit classroom block has been occupied even before completion. Administrative work is often delayed in the absence of a school bus. Dormitories are overcrowded. The girls' dormitory built originally to take 400 students currently has over 1,000 students. Even just this morning, uh, we had gone to Yasantua to take our exam papers and uh, the vehicle had to break down. And uh, we have to fall on Basetia to bring our questions for us. I've written for assistance and uh, I've been told it's being received attention. Education, the Adrenasi MA Primary School in the Jusso Drabin municipality is yet to benefit from government's promise to eliminate schools and the trees for enhanced teaching and learning. A report by Ibrahim Abubakar. Adrenasi is one of the communities in the Jusso Drabin municipality. The only basic school in the community is facing infrastructural challenges. Pupils from kindergarten to primary one conduct classes on the trees. The Jisu Jabe Municipal Assembly was compelled to demolish the old structure of the kindergarten and primary one block school, which had deteriorated. Construction of a four-unit classroom block began, but has stalled since January 2013. Weeds have taken over the halted project. Thus, pupils and teachers are often chased away by snakes. Uh, just recently, teachers were chased by snakes, not snake with snakes. And when it rains, to classes will have to be closed. Then, moreover, we have the toilet just close to the uh, school. The scent will just be blowing all over the So it, it is disturbing us. Municipal Chief Executive Efifa Yamwa Ponko said funds will soon be released to complete a four unit classroom project. That particular project is captured under the District Development Fund, that's DDF. And as soon as funds are made available, I think the Assembly will be in position to resource the contractor to complete the whole thing. Yes, so um, I don't believe the work has been halted in that sense. Until the District Assembly receives funds to complete the project, 